Look, well, I'll try to know for a fact that you love your family, you still love your wife, and I think that even at this age, every once in a while, you should still try and be romantic with your wife. Good Lord. <laughs> like how? I don't know, do you ever speak to your wife in a foreign language, like in French? Some women love that. I call her a French name now and then. Oh. <laughs> Mon cherry, quasi loro. So is there romance between you two? Well, not long ago, my wife left a trail of rose petals on the floor for me. Oh, into the bedroom, right out the front door. <laughs> you know, there are plenty of romantic places in this country you could go for a special time together. Like where? Top of the Empire State Building. Oh no, we tried that. A security guard took one look at her and went, uh-oh, King Kong is back. <laughs> See, just like that, you've been married for over 45 years. Have you ever said anything to your wife that you truly regretted? Oh yeah, will you marry me? I love you, shit like that. <laughs> Come on, when your wife is in a romantic mood, do you ever think about taking one of those little pills? Cyanide? Oh yeah, I do actually. <laughs> Come on, what does your wife put on when she's feeling frisky at bedtime? Night vision goggles. <laughs> then she sneaks around the house and hunts my ass down. <laughs> it is scary stuff, my friends. <laughs> when was the last time you even put your arms around your wife? A couple weeks ago when she was choking on a piece of steak. <laughs> you see there, he gave her the Heimlich. Yeah, I know, I was drunk. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was so close. Maybe you could do something simple, like watching a movie together. Oh no, every time we watch a movie, she falls asleep. Then the next morning, I have to drive back to the theater to pick her up and bring her home. <laughs> have you done anything fun in town here this week? You know I don't like getting out. Oh, you're a little bit of a hypochondriac. Yeah, why don't you wear one of those paper masks? Why, it's taped or you can't stop anything. I mean, hell, the Constitution is taped or it's never stopped our current administration. <laughs> Just trying to get a read on the crowd tonight. <laughs> so I take it you're not exactly happy with our government right now? Are you kidding me? Congress's approval rating is at 12%. <laughs> Jokic has a higher rating than that. So you're paying attention to the presidential candidates? Oh yeah, how would you feel about a female president? Oh, fine with me. Just whoever it is, make sure it's after she hits an applause. <laughs> Walter. What? I was there when my wife went through it. She had been president then. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm sweaty, I'm clammy. Fuck you, Russia. Launch the missiles. <laughs> How you doing, Papa J? I'm doing pretty good. So what's been going on lately? Well, uh, last week I went to another NASCAR race and got her hammered. <laughs> drunk again? Oh, no, it's the same drunk. I just keep extending it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're not drinking at a NASCAR race, you're not at a NASCAR race. <laughs> Where are you? You're at golf. <laughs> <laughs> and Bubba J, do you drink excessively? <laughs> I don't know what that word means. <laughs> What's the longest you've ever gone without a beer? How long have I been out here? Less than a minute, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know your drinking limits? Uh, daily or lifetime? <laughs> How can you tell someone's lifetime limit on drinking beer? Well, if they die when they're drinking, that was it. What I meant was, do you know how much beer you could have before you've had too much? <gasps> I could have too much beer? <laughs> sure, that would be fantastic. <laughs> have you ever drank as much as you wanted? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> you looked pretty. <laughs> Can't you have fun without beer? Yeah, but why risk it? I don't know. <laughs> Would you rather drink beer out of a can, a bottle, or on tap? Oh, yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> Just remember, Bubba J, you should never drink alone. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody. That's why you have us. <laughs> so
So your favorite time to drink is at sporting events. No, uh, yeah, sporting events, yeah, it's good, yeah. Do you drink beer every day? Uh, only on like days off. Oh, you don't have a job. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> My favorite holiday to get drunk on is St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Oh, there's all the Germans. Right. <laughs> I didn't know you were Irish. I not. I also get drunk on Cinco de Mayo and Martin Luther King Day, and I'm not Mexican or black. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. What? I don't want anybody thinking I'm racist. Why would anyone think you're racist? Because I said Mexican. And I also said black. Sorry about that. Bubba Jay, it's okay to say Mexican and black. It is? Sure. Why? Because everybody here is white? <laughs> no, it's just okay to use those words. Okay, well, thanks for keeping me real, cracker. So I understand you flew in today? Yes. On a commercial airline? Yes. No problems? Like what? You know, you know the TSA, the uh, x-ray machine. You idiot. For you, it's an x-ray. For me, it's a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> so are you enjoying your time here? Oh, very much. I get recognized a lot in Hollywood. I was out in front of the theater today signing autographs. Huh, they thought I was an Olsen twin. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, that's a funny joke. <laughs> ah, that reminds me, did you know I have been adding to my career skills lately? Doing what? I am now not just a dead terrorist, I am a dead cyber terrorist. <laughs> a cyber terrorist, don't forget to like me on Facebook. <laughs> you know, Aquaman, maybe for a different line of work, you could do something that would help people. Like what? I could answer a suicide hotline. <laughs> I'd be like, no, no, you're fine, go ahead, you're good. <laughs> That's horrible, they're laughing, not my fault. <laughs> so if you're gonna be a cyber terrorist, do you have a new catchphrase besides I kill you? Oh yes, this is a good one, it's going to scare the crap out of you. <clears throat> I click you! <laughs> Why are they laughing? <laughs> because cyber terrorist makes you sound like a nerd. <gasps> Being a cyber terrorist is not easy, it takes balls. Not real ones, what are you looking at, you pervert? <laughs> the hell? Yes, they're gone. I lost them in the explosion. Bye bye balls. <laughs> but I found them again. Yeah, balls don't bounce. <laughs> there they are. And, and you kept them. Dude, you don't just throw away your own nuts. <laughs> How the hell would that work? Hello, Salvation Army, have I got something for you? <laughs> and what'd you do with them? Well, I didn't. Make a keychain or something like that. <laughs> or hide it under my pillow and wait for the ball fairy. <laughs> wait, is there such a thing? <laughs> How much could I get from the ball fairy? <laughs> it's a matching set. In the original rapper. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Don't ask me how I carry him. <laughs> I have a ball boy. All right. <laughs> you don't have him with you. No, no, they're at home in my junk drawer. What? <laughs> so, Ahmed, what does a cyber terrorist actually do? As I said before, no more killing. You never have killed anyone. Silence! I delete you. <laughs> Is that my new phrase? Wait a minute, how do you delete someone? It's not as easy as you think. You first have to highlight them backstage. <laughs> but explain what a cyber terrorist actually does. I terrorize thy computer. Okay, but what do you think the best weapon you have is to make computers not work? Windows Vista? <laughs> do you send spam? You idiot, no pork. Oh. <laughs> that one was for all my Jewish friends out there. Yay! <laughs> Have you spread any viruses? Well, before the explosion, I had a little itch, but it went away. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
If you're a cyber terrorist, who's your biggest enemy now? The CIA, the FBI? Siri? <laughs> I asked her to search the web for booby traps, and she said, I found a number of hooters near you. <laughs> Don't go to any more coffee places. You know what I heard the other day? I heard that some folks get something called a coffee enema. I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. And please don't let it ever show up on the menu at Starbucks. <laughs> on the other hand, if you really want to pull an awesome joke when you're standing in line, secretly write it on the chalkboard menu. <laughs> Then you get to the register, point to it and say, last time I had that one frozen. <laughs> it gave my butt the shivers. <laughs> I'm gonna open my own coffee place. This could be a whole new line of beverages for me. The Cafe Boutte, the Espresso, the Crattachino. The best part of waking up is coffee in your butt. <laughs> Stop it! How long you been like this? Yes! <laughs> so you're addicted to caffeine. Duh, 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 duh. Is there any way you can get off it? I tried a patch, that didn't work. Why? I stuck it on my arm, took it off my arm, rolled it up, smoked it. Yay! <laughs> and then I tried some kind of gum, but that didn't work. Gum. Because I got it mixed up with a condom, and that was a big ass bubble I blew right there. <laughs> He lost a shoe. No, dude, I found one. <laughs> what the fuck happened? It's not funny. I hate you. I guess I know what we're not gonna see on TV. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> Sorry, just kind of got away from me there. <laughs> Sorry, Peanut. <laughs> stand up. <laughs> Come on, stand up. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Close your mouth! <laughs> Apparently they can understand you and I can't. <laughs> Asshole. Can you close your mouth? Asshole. Help me. What? Help me close my fucking mouth. <laughs> the ham. What the ham? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want me to close your mouth? Yeah, hold on now, okay, asshole. <laughs> What the hell? It's not a shit. What the hell? It's not a shit. Yeah. it. What? Sell it. Sell your hand. Asshole. Oh, shit. What do you do? 